You know how tough it is to prosecute a cop. Cops? You're not cops, you're killers. You're murderers, killing for money. I think you'd better forget that appointment tomorrow morning with Chief Metcalf. Hey, Maloney, you're gonna pension off in three months. Don't go out in a tailspin of speculation and accusations about your fellow officers. If you thought all I had were accusations, we wouldn't be standing out here talking in the night air, now would we? We're the police. We protect and we serve. Anything happened to us, and who knows what had happened to all those nice, innocent people out there, including your wife and your daughter. Oh, it's a real rough neighborhood by the university downtown. You wouldn't want anything to happen to a cute little item like that now, would you? Better just forget about that appointment with the chief tomorrow morning. But if you don't, We'll find out about it, because after all, we're all on the same team, aren't we? Good night, Maloney. Let's go. Looks like the problems of all time are weighing you down. Sounds like you haven't been taking care of yourself. Will you save the conversation for the customers who need the analysis and just give me a beer, huh? Please. Sure. Sure. Your wife called twice looking for you. You're going to be needing some change for the phone. No. no. Oh, my. Not you again. Oh, come on, Mick. You could spare a bro for old kid Shaleen. I thought I sent you home an hour ago. Did I tell you about the time I knocked down Floyd Patterson? Uh, yes, you did, kid. It was in the third. And he threw his great right hand. And I saw it, but I ducked. And I pumped him. And up I came. And down he went. Did you see that fight? But of course, he knocked me out. But Patterson was a great champion. And I knocked him down. Must have been a great fight. Hey, Mick, uh, give him a beer, will you? When I was young, I hit all the moves. <laughs> Didn't we all, champ? Didn't we all? <laughs> Come on. Hey, what are you doing? I'm Hannibal Smith. You want to hire the A-team? The eight? Yeah. Come on. Sorry to work things like this, Inspector. I'm sure you'll understand. You know, but gave up on you guys. I went down to the Long Beach Pier the other night, like your Mr. Lee said. I waited and I waited, and all I got was a cold. I thought maybe you didn't want this job. Hey, man, we don't work for no police. And what is this? What are we doing here? Now, let's say you uh, intrigued us enough to want to find out if this is some kind of trap. If you're working in conjunction with the military police? You think anyone would make up the kind of story that I told you if they were trying to entrap someone? Who'd believe there's a SWAT team out there who are murderers for hire? It is a crazy story. That's why we're talking to you. They were roped in by the leader, Captain Stark. He managed to get something big on each one of them. Then he pulled them together and had them all transferred to his command. Now, as SWAT officers, they have one of the hottest records on the force. But I know of at least seven killings they're responsible for while off duty. Look at this. They warned me tonight they'd hurt my wife and daughter if I went to Chief Metcalf with this. But I don't have any proof the chief would never believe me. I don't think anyone would believe you. There's got to be some kind of trap, Hannibal. This guy's a cop. Now, I've been standing in alleys. I met your guy at the Chinese laundry. You pull me in here, and for what? Here, take that. I brought my money like the Chinese guy said. And you're right, I am a cop, and I'm a good cop. And if I went up against the wall and knew you guys were wanted, I would bust your butts in a flat second. You know why? Because it's my job. And so is nailing those animals. $14,602. That's right. That's all I got. There's a bank book in there that'll show you that that's the truth. So, uh, 
what you see there is every dime that Edward Maloney has. Now, uh, if you want the job, you take it. If you don't, then goodbye and good luck, and I'll see the chief in the morning. Without proof. It's your word against four other officers. And what about your family? I'll do what I have to. I'll take care of them. I've been a cop too long to let this one go by. There are 8,000 good guys on the force in this town, and I'm not going to let one crud like Stark muck it up for the rest of them. We're not killers. What do you expect us to do, Maloney? I'm not hiring you to murder them. Look, if you could get them to confess, maybe just one of them, you've got to stop them. You've got to. We'll call you. That Maloney's one tough dude, ain't he? I tell you, Hannibal, these photos of his wife and daughter, judging by the distance of photographer to victim, perfect target range, any number of isolated areas with easy escape. These guys are not slouches. Neither are we. <laughs> the bricks again. Working for the police? Now, B.A., just because we got a little problem with the law doesn't mean you got to have a bad attitude. Not all cops are like Lynch and his MPs. That's true. And when I was a kid, I always wanted to be a policeman. Did you know that? No. I, I remember in the orphanage, I had a whole scrapbook of Dick Tracy and his Crime Stopper texts. Really? Oh, yeah, my favorite TV show was Dragnet. Yeah, I learned most of my cons from watching episodes about bunko artists. All right, Hannibal, how do we shut these guys down? I mean, these guys are SWAT trained in special weapons and tactics. That's our bag. It's gonna be like going up against ourselves. Exciting, isn't it? Are you still tinkering with miniaturized electronics? Yeah. Then I have a plan. <laughs> 